Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another exciting show, um, another episode of Sea Hunters. And we are here at the historic Fort Charles in Bath Village. The reason why we chose this historical site is because history is going to be made right here today. I'm going to introduce you to an energetic young man. A young man who isn't a fisher, but he supports fishers and the fishing industry. And he is the man behind the new song for the second season. The song is entitled Nowhere. So ladies and gentlemen, at this moment, I would like to introduce you to Mr. Roper. Welcome to the show. Thank, thank you for having me. Thank you for, for the opportunity to be here with you guys. I know how important this show is for the community of Nevis. All right. So, Mr. Roper, your song, Nowhere, was chosen to be the new theme song for Sea Hunter's second season. How does that make you feel? It, it's, 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 a, it's always a pleasure um, when someone decides to use... Uh, my art, my craft, um, especially in uplifting our country in any way, shape, or form. I always tell persons, if someone asks me to help, especially when I see that persons can use it in a positive light, I'll always try to be there. Once my country asks me to help, I'll always come forward. So it, it feels great. It really feels great. All right. No, it's a young man. He's a patriot, as you can see. And the thing that you wouldn't know is that he is an educator by day and an entertainer by night. Please tell us something about that. Well, at this present moment, I'm a teacher at the Gingerland Secondary School. I teach um, history and social studies mainly. Um, and as my, my, my friend just said, I also am an entertainer. I do a bit of singing. I'm also a multiple-time soccer monarch right here on the island of Nevis. Also entertain at hotels and so on. So you, you're absolutely correct, Randy. All right. So there you have it. We are at a historical site, and this is the first king we've had on the show. I know at some point in time we had a president, but he is the first king. As I said, we are making history here on Sea Hunters. So, I know you and I have had some discussions in relation to a Fisher's Anthem because I've heard many songs for farmers, but not one song for fishers. And I know the fishers of old have had some songs and we've even had a fisher uh, Mr. Thomas, who sang a part of one of the old songs that fishers used to sing. So tell us a little bit more about that, because I know we are going to be doing some sort of collaboration. So tell the persons what they have to look forward to. Well, the idea and the plan is for us to create a song um, that describes fishing on the island of Nevis, um, um, discussing different areas where we fish, also some of the hardships, also discussing some of the pleasures of fishing and the importance of the fishers here on the island of Nevis and also St. Kitts and across the region. Now, um, as you mentioned fishing here in St. Kitts and Nevis, um, I think that our song should be somewhat of an example or something that would be reflective of fishers anywhere. So, um, for example, fishers in Dominica or fishers in Trinidad should be able to relate to the lyrics because the hardships that we face here are the same hardships they face. Uh, I thought of this um, title for the song, Married to the Sea, because I've interacted with fishers throughout the world, many different countries, and what I've realized it's much more than a job, it's a way of life. Could you speak a little bit about that? Well, 
not being a fisher myself, I understand that some persons, when you say married to the sea, that caught my attention and it made me smile. Because when you say married to the sea, it's really a, really a marriage because we all know marriages have ups and downs and corners and curves. And when you look at the ocean, you can tell just by the rippling of the waves. Here in Nevis, we have a beautiful um, shoreline where the, the, the ocean comes in and sometimes it's like glass. It's so smooth. And then at other points in time, it, it's one of the roughest oceans um, you could uh, look at, I feel, in the world. And that just shows how it is also in marriage. And also, when I hear what you're discussing, I also understand that it's a lot of hard work to be going out into the deep blue and bringing back sustenance for the community. And also sometimes you have a, a big score, you bring in lots of fish, and other times you come back with absolutely nothing or not as much as you expect. So we have to thank all the fishermen who have risked their lives over the years to basically feed us as a community. Wonderful. So persons have something extra special and I would allow you the opportunity to share your, um, your performing name with the audience. I'm not going to say it. You'll have to say it so you could introduce yourself as an artist, as a performer to the people so they know, hey, when they hear this name, this is the person they are looking at, and that's who it is. All right, so everyone knows me as Delison Roper, but my stage name, a performance name, is X-Man. I think most persons in the community already know that also. So once again, I want to say thank you to Sea Hunters for, for having me here. Um, and we're going to have a wonderful season two, lots of surprises. And thank you once again for allowing me to showcase my art, my, my music, uh, my artistry um, with you, the community, and we will be working on a special song, maybe for season three of Sea Hunters. <laughs> All right? Marriage to the Sea. Sounds Marriage good to me. To yes, yes, yes. Oh, wonderful. Um, X-Man, Mr. Roper, it was a pleasure, a true pleasure having you here on the show. And of course, as I said, we are making history, and that's why we chose this location. We'd like to thank the Nevis Historical and Conservation Society for maintaining this location in such a pristine way that not only visitors can enjoy, but us as locals can enjoy it. And of course, sea hunters can come here and make history in history. So ladies and gentlemen, X-Man, do you have any final words for our audience? Yes, yes, look forward to the new song. And also, I have to also give kudos to the Nevis Historical and Conservation Society. As, as Randy just said, um, this um, location is pristine. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a wonderful place to come and have a picnic or anything of that sort. Come on over to Fort Charles and experience a part of history. And I know they're working on other sites across the island of Nevis. I know they're having some difficulties and struggles, just like um, yourself and so on. But, but I did, they're still doing an exceptional job. So uh, congratulations to the Nevis Conservation Society. And what I want to say to the persons listening is stay tuned. Stay tuned to Sea Hunters. This is an excellent show, a wonderful initiative, and gives the fishermen of Nevis an opportunity um, for their voices to be heard. All right. Wonderful. And before we go, um, we will be enjoying a new drink that is made locally and the name is Ox, natural energy. That's what it's about. It's sweetened with local honey. There are no artificial ingredients or anything of that sort. So our guest would be having a drink, I would be having a drink and of course the hard working young man behind the camera will also be having Ox because it's natural energy nice. local nice. all nice. natural yes so ladies and gentlemen look forward to the next show my name is randy morton and i'll catch you next time on sea hunters nowhere, nowhere.